Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Daniel Rosal here. I wanted to do a quick uh, price comparison just out of curiosity. Well, I was curious about two things actually. Firstly, what is like the biggest hard drive you can currently get if you're looking to archive uh, video data and you want to keep and you're okay with keeping it cold. I'm not going to go into the whole subject of uh, bit rot, data rot, and why it's better to keep it on an NES, but if your heart is set on keeping it cold for whatever reason, hard drive is definitely a viable option. Uh, you do have other media that are used for this purposes, like uh, pretty, as is pretty well known, LTO tape is uh, often used for archiving, but if you just want to go down the HDD, aka hard drive route, um, and instead of buying a bunch of them, you wanted to buy the biggest one you could find, um, then firstly, how big is the biggest one you can find? So I'm gonna try to answer two questions in this video for myself and for anyone else who's uh, crazy enough to be interested. Firstly, how big are the hard drives that you can currently get? How much do they cost? And on a per terabyte basis, how much cheaper does that work out than simply buying normal size gigab gigabyte hard drives. So I'm using Newegg as the research, research in inverted commas, tool for this um, brief trip down a rabbit hole. And I just went onto their page for um, desktop internal hard drives because I'm a fan of using uh, internal ones with an enclosure for even for archiving stuff, it's pretty easy. Um, and then on the left, they have a capacity filtering tool and uh, it starts off as the smaller ones. Then they have this category called four terabytes and higher, and that undocks, and it gets all the way down to 20 terabytes. So that's the first question answered. Um, currently, you can get hard drive storage, single hard drives in the 3.5 inch form factor up to 20 terabytes. And you can see there's only 36 of these on the market according to Newegg versus more than a thousand and four terabytes. So these are like, this is like the very top end of the hard drive world. How much does this cost? So as you can see, um, there's a Seagate product for $510. Um, and the cheapest one, I'm gonna take for the purposes of this comparison, like the cheapest option, basically, uh, just to try and make this as cost effective or, you know, as fair as possible. In other words, how cheap can you get your 20 terabytes? How cheap can you get your one gigabyte? Obviously there's more expensive products. So I'm gonna take this product here. Let's do this one, Seagate e EXOS A20. So Seagate product is the uh, EXOS A20. Capacity is 20 terabytes. And this dude's gonna set us back $449.99. I'm gonna round up to 450. So uh, in the other screen, I'm just putting this data into a, into a spreadsheet. So for $450, we're getting um, 20, 20 terabytes. So it's 450 over 20. So this is $22 per terabyte uh, at the 20 terabyte scale. So now let us go back to uh, screen one. I'm playing around with OBS today. So you can see, you can see my two screens simultaneously, which is pretty cool. I think. Um, let's go back to uh, Newegg here and let us go for a normal capacity um, hard drive. So there's 500 gigs, but let's just do one terabyte as our comparison. And let's take off the uh, 20 terabytes and now we need to apply. There are gonna be many, many more options here. So what I'm gonna do is sort by uh, lowest price. So again, we're comparing the bottom ends of both markets. And we're gonna just exclude 22 bucks. That seems unfathomably, unfathomably cheap for a terabyte, unless these are like restored things. You know what, I'm gonna actually take off the lowest price. I'm just, just gonna go for like a normal one, cause I'm gonna get, so th this is like, to me a normal price for a terabyte, like 47 bucks, 50 bucks. But let's take this uh, 37, cause I know this one is new. I think I actually own uh, a hard, this hard drive. So this is a WD Blue's terabyte desktop hard drive, 7200 RPM, six gigs a second, 64 megabit cache, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna put this in to our comparison chart. Brand name here, WD Blue, and it's the um, product name is, I have no idea what the product name is, but it doesn't really matter. 
its, its capacity is one terabyte and its cost is $37.45. So uh, USD uh, over terabyte is uh, gonna be, well, that's simple. It's 37.45 because it's one terabyte and you're paying, um, and you're paying uh, 37.4 for that. So it's clearly cheaper. Um, so let's just do the maths equals 37.45 over 22, uh, over 22.5. And I'm gonna jump again to my screen, whoops. All right, so this is the answer to my question. Uh, judging taking the cheapest 20 terabyte hard drive on the market, um, that works out as $22 per terabyte. And a not the cheapest, but like a pretty average bottom range, uh, one terabyte capacity HDD from WD Blue costs thirty seven, um, thirty seven dollars and forty five cent. Um, so that's obviously the same as the per terabyte rate because it's one terabyte in data. And then what I did here was I divided, um, um, I divided the uh, the higher price, uh, the terabyte by the cheaper price. So basically, um, it's seventy percent more expensive, uh, rounding rounding up here on a per terabyte basis uh, to get that uh, to get that uh, on. So you do kind of get a, a volume discount. Now, just one final number I'd be interested to run uh, would be if uh, how much would that cost if it was a one terabyte for twenty? So it's going to be thirty seven dollars thirty forty forty five cents by twenty. So that would be seven hundred. If the uh, you know if the one terabyte HDD were equivalent to twenty terabyte capacity, it would cost seven hundred and forty nine dollars versus four hundred and fifty dollars for the Seagate EX EXOS X twenty. Uh, so that's a cost saving of three. My my mathematics are embarrassingly bad. I've mentioned well basically three hundred dollars with one dollar off. So three hundred it's three hundred dollars cheaper. Uh, to go for the Seagate. So the answer to this question, the two questions are, what's the uh, biggest hard drive you can currently buy on the market? The answer to that is 20 terabytes. Um, the second question I asked was, is it cheaper to buy high capacity HDDs versus buying a bunch of lower capacity ones? Based on this analysis, at least it seems like the answer is yes. And it's uh, exactly in this case, 70% uh, uh, cheaper to get the 20 terabyte one, uh, it would be 750 bucks versus uh, 450 if the uh, one terabyte were equivalent up to the capacity of the 20 terabyte one. Hope that's of interest. Anyone else crazy about data and storing data? I am thinking of uh, picking up not maybe 20, but maybe like a 16 because I can't, I can't actually find 20 terabyte hard drives in my local market here in Israel, but I can find 18. So I'm thinking that when I fill up my next uh, terabyte uh, hard drive for cold video storage, uh, I'm just going to bite the bullet and pick up an 18 terabyte, and that should give me like a long, long time to work with. I've also heard I've I've also heard that bit rot can be mitigated by periodically turning on, simply spinning up the hard drive. So um, I reckon that if I just have one, it's actually less risky because if I have a bunch of them, a bunch of if I'm using a bunch of hard drives, inevitably um, a lot of those are gonna sit cold for long periods of time versus one really high capacity disc, um, it's probably gonna be a very, very long time before I fill it up and therefore there's gonna be less uh, periodic discs to be respun up. So uh, I hope this cost comparison was interested, interesting if you're interested in data storage and until the next video.